have senior Kayla Trainer. Uh, we'll start with an opening statement from Coach, uh, then we will have questions for Kayla. Uh, following that, we will dismiss Kayla and we'll go to questions for Coach Gates. So, uh, Gary, an opening statement, please. Um, you know, our kids, our kids played tough. It was uh, an incredible Maryland team that just stepped on that field with a level of confidence of a, a defending national championship team. and. I was just impressed how they uh, they played with such confidence, made very few mistakes, and you know put away their shots. They shot uh, incredibly well today. Um, Ten for thirteen in the first half was amazing, and it's hard to answer that. And uh, you know we we felt tight a little bit. I think didn't play uh, at our peak in that first half for sure. We had spurts where we played well, and you can't do that against the best team in the country. So unfortunately, yeah. Uh, it ended up where it did, and we'll uh, put this one in the books and move on. Okay, we'll take questions for Kayla. Just raise your hand. I'll call on you. If you can give your name and your outlet before you ask your question, we'll start here in the front. Um, Alice is a really good defender. Uh, Play with her uh, for U.S., so I know how she plays. But um, I think, like Coach was saying, they got a really good team, and they got um, a lot of really great individuals, and collaboratively they're very good together. Um, you know, they play that, that high-pressure defense. They slide quick. You know, they make it tough to, to get shots off. So um, they just played really well today. Yep, third row, go ahead. Um, I hope it wouldn't be that way, but um, uh, I guess I'd say, you know, um, I think I think we were pretty good, but uh, you know, we had a, you know, we always ended up short, real close though, a lot of times, and um, you know, today we were, uh, you know, we didn't play our best, um, but again, like Coach said, like Maryland's a really good team, so you got to give it to them, but um, I, I'm really proud to have played for Syracuse, so. Um, I hope we are remembered in a in a good way. Back here in front, go ahead. Um, yeah, I um, you know, although Maryland was a really good team, I think I think Syracuse is a really good team and um, I feel very fortunate to play on such a such a talented team, um, so I think that that let me be able to get that record um, if I did get it. But uh, um, I guess just I played with some awesome teammates, and uh, they, they know how to make you look good. So it's a lot of credit to them, and then uh, my coach for uh, putting me in the position I am and uh, letting me take some draws. Yep. Okay. Over there, standing. Yep. Um, I guess it's just keep your head up high and, uh, you know, I think, uh, in my four years here, I think I worked really hard and, uh, I think we as a group worked really hard, but I guess, you know, you can always work harder. Um, you know, you, you, you play with the people around you and we've got a lot of talent in that room and I think they can, uh, they're going to be real good and, you know, they're getting some really good new players in. So, you know, I think they're going to have a really good future ahead of them and I think, uh, Maryland should be scared of them in the future. Um, I don't know. I guess I just uh, been really fortunate. We've uh, fifth years of played in five Final Fours, and we've gotten to play in four Final Fours. So uh, feel pretty lucky. Uh, coaches were talking about uh, a lot of teams are home watching these games on TV. So you know, with only four teams here, I feel really lucky. And um, you know, I'll never be able to put the jersey back on, but uh, it's it's been quite a ride, and I I really enjoyed it. Yep, go ahead in the third row. Uh, Kayla, uh, knowing your offer of uh, SCD, uh, what were the emotions like for you walking off that field uh, knowing that uh, you're, you're not going to be able to play the, uh, the jersey that you had before and the addition of, of saying that you, to yourself that you didn't really feel like you, you had to take that game out there? Um, I guess it's hats off to Maryland. You know, they make you play uncomfortable. 
Um, they've been here before. They've won. They've beaten us every time, you know, so they have that confidence. And I think that's a, a big thing in women's sports is that kind of confidence. And, um, you know, when women's teams are really good, they're, like, really good for a while once they win. Like uh, Coach is talking about UConn basketball and, uh, you know, Penn State volleyball and all these different teams that when you win, you win for a while. Like Northwestern did it before them. So, um, you know, you just have that kind of advantage of that confidence. Um, so, yeah. We'll take one more question for Kayla if there is one in the back row. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I think uh, Nicole is going to be uh, one of the best, one of the best lacrosse players in the country. I, she, I think she already is. Um, but I guess that style of play is, is something that coach lets us do. Um, he lets us play the way the game's supposed to be played. Um, you know, he lets you be creative, and uh, you know, I don't really necessarily think it's flashy. I think it's it's the fun way to play. I think it's the right way to play. Um, you know, I think. You talk about the game, and I think hopefully this shot clock will help the game. Um, and hopefully the game changes. You know, um, I know I don't know if I can comment on this, but uh, the calls in the game and stuff like that. You know, hopefully there's some changes there too, um, make the game more fun to watch. Okay, thanks, Kayla. You are excused. We will now take questions for Coach Gate. Once again, just raise your hand. I'll call on you. Uh, give your name and your outlet. So. Uh, yep, we'll start in row three. Yep, in the middle. Coach, Coach, you know, what kind of challenges did Allie Murray face, and when did you kind of make that decision that, you know, she had to come out of the game? Well, I think <laughs> we kind of left Allie Murray uh, in a vulnerable situation, especially early in the game. Uh, you know, we were shutting three players, and it, it allowed the – players to dodge and, and with a ton of space and they got some good shots off and like I said earlier you know 10 for 13 in the first half was pretty impressive uh, pretty amazing actually shooting so they did a heck of a job and um, you know just made it tough and Allie's been our goalie all year and, and you know we needed to give her a break you know and then she went back in and then it was tough, so we wanted to give a, a younger goalie a shot, and we put Bree in for a bit. Yep, over there. Go ahead. Coach, what does Kayla Trainer mean to you and to the Syracuse program? Kayla Trainer's amazing. You know, she truly is. She's, uh, you know, the greatest Syracuse lacrosse player ever, and and only the second player ever to to reach 400 points in a career. And I, I. If she's not the most amazing player, you know, we, we don't have a lot of All-Americans. You know, we don't – she carries us. And for for a single player to make that much of a difference is amazing. And it's, it's extraordinary to, to challenge someone to do something new in the middle of – or the end of their college career. And not only do they – excel at it but because they you know they break records and you know I don't think there's any other player in the country that you could ask to do something take the like taking the draw that's never really taken it since high school and have them go out and just master it and and be setting records so you know I, I think she's the best player in college lacrosse and and uh, you know she's had an amazing career and you know I think the stats speak for themselves and you know, we're not one of those teams that that keep keep our players in the end. We play multiple players, and you know, her stats could be much higher. And uh, it, it's just one of the, the way we play. We try and stick to a team game, and you know, we get a lead, we pull our starters, and let other kids play. So, like I said, I think she's been amazing, and to get to 400 points and the amount of time she sat on the bench is is pretty good. Yep, so row two. Go ahead. Now, in relation to them, because you had a year, year by your measuring stick, to talk about you can get a, a final. 
you know, we're, we're, we've been cruising along as a top four team. You know, I think uh, five years in a row you're here. But um, a lot of times, you know, it's hard to be one. There's very few teams to get there. And, and uh, typical women's sports, I've been on the other end. I've worked at Maryland. We won seven in a row. And you get that level of confidence and, you know, your ability to, to, to recruit in Maryland around the country. Um, it allows you to, to build a confidence to the young players when the players coming back to their leaders have won one, two, three, you know, national championships. So it, it's definitely, uh, they're a step ahead of everybody right now. And we're all, we were just, we were all just hoping to trip them up, you know, hope they have an off game and that you get a shot to play your best and, and come out on top. And for us, that didn't happen today. Up here in front. Uh, just to talk about the end of the game, they started the second goal and kind of coming in slow. Your thoughts and process behind doing that and then kind of wanting to turn it off and reflect on what you said. Well, you know, um, Whittle, she's going to go the goal every time she touches the ball. So we saw that in the last minute of the game. I think she had two or three shots in the last minute when they're up by 11 or 12. And she's, you just can't let her have the ball because if she touches the ball, she's going to the net and she can rip it. And we saw that. So, you know, that's why you face guard a kid like that. And, uh, you know, Taylor Cummings, is, she's another one that you let her dodge the goal. She's going to dodge in. If she doesn't score, she's going to draw the foul. And, and, so you try and limit their touches, their opportunities, and um, let the other kids play. Well, today the other kids were on, and they played great. And they right from the beginning, we, we made them go to their other players, as you might call them. And, uh, you know, they showed up. And I think that just shows you how deep Maryland is and why they have so many All-Americans and why, you know, they're, they're such a great team. And it's a great team effort for when they – you know, come on on top and they, you know, undefeated. What are they, 22 and 0 now? 22 and 0, yeah. Uh, we'll go to the last row and then we'll go here and that'll be the last two. Coach, I just wanted to ask Caleb before. Oh, Zach, I want to talk about. Um, you know, you were a guy that played that did never be foreseen things that, you know, a lot of people emulate. The kids underneath that kind of emulate growing up. In some ways, I see similar colors with some of the stuff that Kayla did that you really didn't see often in the women's game, I guess. How active? Well, well, like I said, I, I think she's the greatest player in college lacrosse, and I think it's because she plays, she plays with flair, she plays with style, but she plays, she does those things. You know, she makes plays that have never been seen before, and and, and she just does amazing things. And and you know, she she should be proud of what she's she's done. Like I said, there's only two that have been there before, as far as points and things like that, but. You know, just the way she played, the way she carries herself. I know she's got a tremendous following of young girls that, that probably love the game because they've seen her play and they've seen the, the way she plays. It makes you want to pick up a stick and twirl it and throw behind the back, do something that makes you fall in love with the game. So, you know, that's, that's the type of person she is and that's the type of legacy she leaves at Syracuse. There's you know, plenty of upstate girls that are talking about wanting to be Kayla Trainer and, and develop her amazing stick work. Okay, and we'll end with third row right here in the middle. Sam Fortier of the Daily Run. Uh, Coach, this senior class entered college as the number one ranked in the country. They never finished number one ranked. They did a lot for the program. How did their four years of play compare to your expectations for them? Well, you, you never have expectations for a class. You, you have expectations for a team maybe at the most. and. You know, our expectations to, to get to a Final Four and compete for and try and win a national championship. And that certainly is what they did every year. They gave us the opportunity. You know, we never got it done. We, we certainly had, you know, we got to a championship. We've had closer games than this. But you know what? There's an awful lot of teams that sit home and don't have this opportunity, especially multiple years. So in, in a lot of ways, you know, they delivered by giving themselves a chance by getting the championship weekend. You know, as a program, we still have a ways to go, and, you know, our goal is to still be a national champion, and we will continue working on that. And, 
you know, it'll be somebody else's turn next to, to be seniors and, and lead the way. And um, certainly will be a different look than we have been for the last couple of years. Okay. Thanks, Thank Gary.